Hi, my name is Ilma and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to share 1 Corinthians 9 verses 8 to 14. And here's the word of God. I'm not just asserting these things according to human judgment, am I? Or does the law not say these things as well? For it is written in the law of Moses, You shall not muzzle the ox while it's threshing. God is not concerned about oxen, is he? Or is he speaking entirely for our sake? Yes, it was written for our sake because the plowman ought to plow in hope and the thresher to thresh in hope of sharing in the crops. If we showed spiritual things in you, it is, is it too much if we reap material things from you? If others share the right over you, do we not more? Nevertheless, we did not use this right, but we endure all things so that we will cause no hindrance to the gospel of Christ. Do you not know that those who perform sacred services eat the food of the temple, and those who attend regularly to the altar have their share from the altar? So also the Lord directed those who proclaim the gospel to get their living from the gospel. 1 Corinthians 9, 8-14 to And here's my blog. Enduring all things to bring out the gospel. In Deuteronomy 25, 4, God commanded, You shall not muzzle an axe while it threads out the grain. According to David Guzik's commentary, this law simply commanded the humane treatment of a working animal. In those days, grain was broken away from its husk by an ox walking on it repeatedly, usually in a circle. It was cruel to force the ox to walk over all the grain, yet to muzzle him so he couldn't eat of it. Why did Paul bring out the Mosaic Law mentioned in Deuteronomy 25.4 in his letter to the Corinthians? It seems that he was explaining that this wasn't literally about oxen, but an illustration of how we need to work in a perspective of hope that we need not abuse those who are actually bringing us sustenance for our bodies, soul, and mind, but instead support them so they can continue the work they were designed to do. In other words, if we are be be benefiting and growing from a church or a community or family of believers, we ought to give support to the ones who are actually looking after our growth. In verses 11 to 12, Paul raises a question regarding the validity of those who work for Christ's kingdom to also expect material compensation. After all, they are still human and have physical needs as well. Paul said that he had all the right to claim support from them, but he didn't use this right to ensure that it won't hinder them from hearing the good news. In verse 14, he explains the right of the workers of God to be compensated as well because they are proclaiming the gospel. They are working for God's kingdom here on earth. It is only right to be paid for what they have worked for. Reflection. Why do you think some don't understand that workers for God needs compensation too? I think um, when you know the Word of God and you understand the Word of God, um, you know that uh, they, they ought to be compensated. Because just because they're doing spiritual things which we normally don't see doesn't mean that they're not giving up their time, uh, their personal time, they're not giving up their, um, their priorities for, for doing the work of God. So in, in, a, in a worldly perspective, when one works, one needs to be compensated. But because even though we're doing spiritual things, we're still giving up our time and effort and invest on, on that uh, work that we do for the Lord. So we also need to be compensated for what we do. Um, 
but in this case, Paul is saying that he wasn't claiming the compensation that is his right because if it is going to be a problem with the uh, the people's outlook not understanding that they're that they are that they need support because they're still in this world they're still alive and they still need sustenance so in other words if that is going to be a problem he will forgo that right because uh it will hinder them from understanding uh the gospel in other words, he will not do anything to compromise the, the preaching of the gospel to, to the believers. So I think this is a good um, lesson for all of us who do not um, think that uh, we need to compensate those who work for the Lord. So I encourage you to reflect on these things because it is important that we support the work, the kingdom work of the Lord. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks, photographs, and a copy of this blog. And I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for God. Thanks for watching.